Hey there, it's Brian from WorkCloud and in this video we're going to go over how to create alerts and escalations within WorkCloud. So there are a number of different ways and reasons why you might want to alert someone for corrective actions or alert someone via notification automatically. Um, and these are all things that you can accomplish within WorkCloud. Uh, so the first thing that I want to walk through in this lightning demo is how to create a corrective action and alert someone um, and also track that action within WorkCloud as you're performing an inspection. So on my tablet here, you can see that I'm already performing an inspection um, and I'm doing a safety audit on the site. So let's go through the different types of checks that I'm um, filling out. So I already see one here uh, on the walkway that I've created and it's at risk. Um, I said that this needs to be checked by a technician. So right within your inspection, one of the things that you can actually do is create an action by just clicking on action right here um, and hitting create action. And what this will do is this will allow you to create a corrective action, uh, link it to this particular inspection as well, and then track its um, progress over time. So um, I'm going to create an action here. I'm going to say have technician check stairwell. Um, and this will essentially allow me to track it. And I'm going to assign this to um, Arjun here, or guest user. And let's say I want this to be due sometime next week. So the 30th. Um, there are other options that you can actually associate to an action. Um, you can add a priority. Let's make this a high priority since it's a safety issue. Um, I can also add any description, associate any videos or images to add more context to this action as they're performing it. So let's go ahead and create that. There you go, it's created. And what this allows you to do is this allows you to easily uh, create an action, allow you to link it to that inspection without completely distracting you from the actual inspection itself. So as you can see, I can still continue to, to fill out the inspection. The second way that you can actually create an alert as you're filling out an inspection uh, is right within the form template. So one of the neat things that you're able to do whenever you are creating a form template um, and performing an inspection is um, determine when to trigger an automatic alert to a particular team or a specific person and escalate that as needed when a form is completed. So let's say for that same safety walk we want to create an alert anytime uh, a failure is identified. So what you can do is we're going to go ahead and edit this form template. I'm just going to go ahead and pull up uh, the form builder here. And let's say we wanted to say that anytime um, the failure or at risk is identified for this walkway, um, we want to create an alert that will send out to a specific team or a specific person. So all you have to do is click on that field. Uh, on the right hand side here, you have all your options and let's go ahead and create a trigger. You can click add a new trigger. It's gonna go ahead and let you create a quick selection. So when the selection at risk is selected, let's alert, let's see we have any teams configured here, um, operations that the stairwell is at risk. So we're gonna go ahead and just create uh, that trigger and that'll automatically be generated. So anytime at risk is marked when you're performing an inspection, it'll automatically trigger that notification and send an email and app notifications to this specific team. And then all you have to do is publish that form. And anytime you make an update to a form template, those updates will propagate automatically to all the inspections um, that are still being performed. So that is a video, a quick video on how you can create non-conformance escalations using actions within WorkCloud and by using trigger notifications that can be set up on the form templates.